Thank you for joining me for yet another unboxing video, and today we have yet another budget store find. This time it's the card game Boss Monster, the dungeon building card game. Card game for two to four players. A retro inspired tabletop game designed by Brothers Wise Games. Released in 2015. Boss Monster. Of course, I picked this up for $3.99 at the local budget store. So let's flip it over and see what this is all about. Boss Monster, inspired by classic video games. Boss Monster challenges you to become a villain, build a dungeon, lure in adventures, and destroy them. Boss Monster is a standalone card game that challenges two to four players to become video game style villains and build deadly side-scrolling dungeons. But beware, you must make your dungeon as deadly as it is attractive or the puny heroes might kill you first. Are you a bad enough dude to become the ultimate boss monster? Includes 155 full color pixel art illustrated cards. Uh, it was released in 2015, again, for two to four players, ages 13 plus, and takes about 30 minutes to play. So, again, let's crack this bad boy open and see what kind of goodness we have on the inside. Of course, right off the bat, we have our instruction books quick start guide as well. So let's take a look at those first and then we've got our decks of cards. So Boss Monster instruction booklet. Ooh, gotta love that. It's got that Nintendo feel to it. Very cool. Contents, welcome to the dungeon, how to play, gameplay at a glance, card type setup, game setup example, sequence of play, and the glossary. Okay, welcome to the dungeon. Boss Monster is a fast-paced card game of strategic dungeon building. As a boss monster, your goal is to lure hapless adventurers into your dungeon and consume their souls. But beware, your dungeon must be as deadly as it is enticing, or the puny heroes can actually survive long enough to wound you. More importantly, you have competition. Adventurers are a hot commodity, and other boss monsters are trying to outdo you with more precious treasures and more nefarious traps. Are you a bad enough dude to become the ultimate boss monster? Option for the game. The goal of boss monsters is to lure heroes into your dungeon and kill them. Heroes who die in your dungeon are turned face down and count as souls. Heroes who survive give you wounds. Player wins if she ends a turn with 10 souls. Player loses if he ends a turn with 5 wounds. A turn is not complete until all players have had a chance to act. In the case of a tie, refer to the tiebreaker rules on page 16. Getting ready. Box contents. Game pay. Play at a glance. Card types, bosses. You got boss icon. So you look at the letters and they match up exactly where they're boss icon, the abilities, experience points, and treasure. Card types and rooms, room icon, ability, damage, and treasure. Card types, heroes. You got the treasure icon, health, wound, player icon, and the soul. Card type cells, spells, I should say. Setup, prepare the hero decks, initial setup. Starting hand, build your first room. Game setup example. Sequence play, beginning of the turn, build phase, bait phase, adventure phase, then end of the turn. Experience value and active players. Sequence play continued, beginning of turn. Heroes appear in town, each player draws a card. Build phase, to the left of your leftmost card, on top of an existing room card. Build phase, pro tip building over. Keep an eye on your treasure types as you're building rooms because they will limit the advanced rooms you're allowed to play. Multi-treasure rooms with gold borders tend to be low damage, but they'll give your dungeon versatility. Also, keep in mind that ordinary rooms can always be built over any room regardless of treasure type. Sequence of play, debate phase, compare treasure values, lure, tie. Spell cards and room abilities cannot be used during a bait phase. Pro tip, bottleneck heroes. If no player has the highest treasure value for a given hero, either because all players have zero or all players are tied, that hero stays in town. On the next turn, new heroes arrive as normal. If a tie is not broken, heroes can really start to stack up in town. When the tie is broken, all relevant heroes go to the winning dungeon, which means the stakes just keep getting higher. Manipulating the bait phase to make sure heroes come your way is key to the success in Boss Monster. 
bait phase examples, venture phase, heroes enter, rooms deal damage, spells and abilities, death, survival, pro tip, tracking heroes. Sometimes hero sequence can be important. Heroes obey a first in, first out rule. To keep track of this, place each newly revealed hero to the side of the deck. The closest to the deck should always be the one that has been in play longest. Once that hero heads to a dungeon, slide the newer cards towards the deck to take its place. Remember, new heroes continue to arrive in town at the beginning of each turn. End of turn phase. Multiplayer games. In a game with more than two players, when one player loses, that player's cards are set aside and removed from the game. They do not go to the discard pile, and no effects can interact with those cards until the game concludes. The number of heroes entering town does not change, so the pressure is on. End the game. If a player ends the turn with five or more wounds, that player loses the game. If a player ends the turn with ten souls and fewer than five wounds, that player wins the game. If two players meet the victory or loss condition above, subtract each player's wound total from his souls total. The player with the highest result wins. If the result above is a tie, the player with the lowest XP value wins. Now shuffle the decks, deal out some new boss cards, and play again. Classic hard, choose your own, machinations, and unlimited lives. Glossary. Keywords that are brought out. Credits to all the good people who brought you this game. And the credits. For more information, go to brotherwisegames.com. And sequence of play. You have the beginning of turn, build phase, bait phase, adventure phase, and end of turn. Okay, then you also have your quick start guide. Object of the game is the setup, beginning of turn, build phase, flip that over, bait phase, adventure phase, end of turn, spells and timing. There's your quick start guide. So put this here, and you got the quick start guide here. Put those here, like so. And then you got your cards. You got your boss cards, you got your hero cards. I'm going to put the boss to the side. We're going to start with the hero cards. So you got some gray cards. Here your epic hero cards, which are your gold cards. You got your spell deck. All right, so let's take a look at some of these cards. So we've got our, whoop, almost dropping. Sorry about that. Got our hero deck. Ordinary hero, you got a mage. Of course, the cool pictures here. Gandog the Golden. Hearts and Lives. Okay. Lost in a dungeon after his master was slain, this adorable pup seeks revenge. He does his best to imitate the spells he's seen, but has no idea what, of what he's doing. A mage, you got a fighter. Another mage, another mage, thief, another thief, a fighter, a cleric, a fool, a fighter, a thief, mage, cleric, another cleric, there you have it, so those are your basic heroes. And these are all the different types of characters that you would see if you ever play the game of Dungeons and Dragons. It basically tells you that. So you have a, your fighter, mage, which is a magic user, your thief, your cleric, uh, yep. so let's take a look at a couple different ones. All right, so we got the fighter, epic hero, he's got a sword in his hand, and also he's got rules, uh, or tells you a little background history about them. He's got his wounds, which is 13. Not sure what these icons mean. You're going to have to look that up in a rule book. And it looks like two, it's either 13 lives or two blood symbols. One is your soul, the soul. I think that's your soul. And that's how many wounds he could take. So he could take two wounds. He's got a 13 soul. Again, the mage, again, magic user. It's an epic hero. Thief, again. Everything on these are going to change from 13 to. Depending on the strength of the character. You've got a cleric. And your fighter. Thief. Mage, Fighter, so let's take a look at this one, it's got an Ankh in the corner, got some wings there, 
Osprey Man, Angel of Earth. Not a true angel. Osprey Man is a druid who uses his mastery of shape-shifting magic to assume the form of a massive bird, take the skies, and defend nature from evil. There you go. Those are your Epic Heroes. That's another deck of cards there. Then, of course, we have our spell deck. Giant size. Give one monster room plus three until the end of the turn. And again, an icon down there. Again, I'm not sure what these icons are used for. Cave in, counter spell, cobalt strike, teleportation, giant size, motivation, fear. Choose a hero in any dungeon and send it back to town. Cave in, soul harvest, jeopardy. All players must discard their hands, then draw one spell card and two room cards. Teleportation, freeze, freeze, assassin, exhaustion, motivation, freeze, counterspell, assassin, freeze, princess in peril. Choose one hero in town, place it at the entrance to your dungeon. Zombie attack, princess in peril, assassin, jeopardy, fear, annihilator, trepidation, annihilator, and zombie attack. So that's another deck of cards there. That is your spell deck. which is good that each deck has a different color to it. Always helpful. Then we have our bosses. There's some boss. Oh, wait a minute. The bosses are in green. Got a room deck. Okay, we've got a lot, a lot of rooms. Okay, so we're gonna pull that down here. So let's take a look at the bosses first. So, Seducia, Sorceress of Sexiness. Level up. You may search through town or the hero decks. Choose one hero and put it at the entrance to your dungeon. She's worth 600 experience points. Draculord, worth 900 XP. Uh, Cerebellus. Gorgona, Cleopatra, King Croak, Robobo, Zizak. Level up, choose two cards from the discard pile and put them into your hands worth 700 XP. Now I noticed down here it has got that spell book, got the Ankh spell book. I would think that's the thief. The, the warrior, the fighter, probably the ones who can hurt them the most. There's your boss deck. And then we have the biggest deck, which is your room deck. You're building different rooms. So there it is. You've got your vampire bordello, advanced monster room. Once per turn, if a hero dies in this room, you may heal one wound. Flip over one face down hero, adding its soul value to your total. Three, again the Ankh. Construction zone, top, uh, leaguers, den, boulder ramp, goblin army, dizzy gas hallway, monstrous movement, centipede tunnel, leaguers den, boulder ramp, open grave, Neanderthal cave, all seeing eye, suck up a spa, Beast Menagerie, Zombie Prison, Torture Chamber, Monsters Ballroom, Spectre Sanctum, Dracolich Lair, Minotaur's Maze, The Crushinator, Dark Laboratory, Golem Army, Dark Altar, The Enderfall Cave, Dark Laboratory. Let's see what this is. It's a trap room, it says. When you build this room, draw two spell cards, then discard a spell card. Okay. The Witch's Kitchen. Brain Sucker Hive, Monster Ballroom, Dark Altar, Witch's Kitchen, Dragon Hatchery, Dark Laboratory, Mimic Vault, Haunted Library, Torture Chamber, Jackpot Stash, Zombie Prison, Open Grave, Brain Sucker Hive, Witch's Kitchen, Minotaur's Maze, Jackpot Stash, Dragon Hatchery, Dizzy Gas Hallway, Succubus Spa, Spectre Sanctum, Golem Factory, Brain Sucker Hive, Mimic Fault, Dracolich Lair, Bottomless Pit, 
Vampire Bordello, Dragon Hatchery, Dark Altar, Recycling Center, Jackpot Stash, Bottomless Pit, Golem Factory, Centipede Tunnel, Monstrous Monument, Spectre Sanctum, Bottomless Pit, that one there. Looks just like the one from uh, Dungeons and Dragons from the 80s. And the Player's Guide, that was the cover of it. Bottomless Pit, Trap Room, you may destroy this room to kill a hero in this room. Crushinator, Suck of a Spa, All Seeing Eye, Beast Menagerie, Construction Zone, Golem Factory, Golem Armory, Recycling Center, and Dizzy Gas Hallway, the Trap Room. If the next room in your dungeon is a Trap Room, it has plus two. And there you have it. These are all your cards and everything that's included in this unboxing of Boss Monster, the dungeon building card game. Card game for two to four players. Again, a retro inspired tabletop game designed by Brother Wise Games. For more information, go to brotherwisegames.com. And as always, thank you so much for joining me for this unboxing video, which is truly appreciated. If you enjoyed it, you can always give us a thumbs up, leave a comment below. You can also hit that subscribe button. This way you're kept up to date as to any time we release new content to the page. As always, thank you so much for joining us. Be safe, be well. Enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll catch you on the next unboxing video.